The objective of this video tutorial is to show how to use Adapt Edge 2012 in unison with Adapt Matte 2012 in designing and analyzing the matte foundation supporting a multi-level structure. In this example we've selected Edge, Matte, and also our design scope as RC only. In this example we have a five-story structure that's supported at the base at a matte foundation. We've assigned some soil properties as a compression only spring at the base. The first workflow we're going to go to FEM analyze structure and we're going to select the option to analyze the structure with compression springs from the compression spring slash soil support options. We'll select OK and select yes to save. If we now review the results from FEM view analysis results, our objective is to review the soil pressure for this option. If we select soil pressure, turn the display on, we can see that the base level shows the soil pressure results in the form of color contours. If we select groups, planes for display, we'll go to the bottom plane, refresh the screen, and now we have the soil pressure shown. This again is based on a multi-level analysis with compression springs at the base. Note that in this option, if I go back to FEM, analysis results or analyze structure, because we have this set to the compression spring option, there's no availability to include loads from building solution. Even at the single level mode, if I go to loading, add loads, note that the program generated load takedown option is grayed out. It's not available due to the analysis being done with compression only springs. The second workflow, if we go back to FEM, analyze structure, if we select to substitute the compression springs with fixed supports, this will allow us then to make load takedowns at the base level. So we're going to select OK. We'll select yes to save the, the results, go back to FEM, view analysis results. If I try to select the soil pressure and display the soil pressure, we get a warning saying that the contours are not possible because we're on now, the compression springs have been substituted by rigid supports at each node. We'll go ahead and close that. If we now go to a, a single level at the base level, We'll select single level mode. We can scroll up or down. We'll go down to the base level. Here we again we have a compression spring at the base level, but now we want to apply the load takedown from the levels above. So we'll go to loading, add loads. We want to go to program generated loads, select the different loads to take down, say OK, and now we have load takedowns occurring at the different columns. We can review those loads by selecting the load, double clicking, and we can see that this is a program generated load as a live load in the form of 60 plus kips. At this point if we go to FEM analyze the structure notice that the compression spring soil support options is grayed out the program will automatically consider the compression spring as a support we'll select OK we have the application of the load takedowns if we now go to FEM view analysis results select soil pressure and display the soil pressure. Now the program is reporting the soil pressure at the single level mode with application of load takedown. We're going to close the program out of Adapt Matte and Edge. We'll go ahead and close that. We're going to reopen the program and instead of selecting Matte in unison with Edge, we're going to select Floor Pro in unison with Edge. So if I select OK, I'm going to open the same model that we were just looking at. Now in this model you'll notice I also have a compression spring. We still have that applied at the base level. If I go to FEM Analyze Structure, I can analyze the structure as a substitution again of, of compression springs with fixed supports 
or I can analyze this with compression springs. If we analyze with compression springs, we'll select OK. The intent of the Floor Pro analysis in unison with Edge is to design the elevated floors. So because I've, I've assigned a compression spring, I've analyzed with a compression spring, if I go to FEM View Analysis Results, you'll notice that the soil pressure option is turned off because now I'm working in Floor Pro mode and the, the design implication is that we're going to design the elevated levels in consideration of this, the differential settlement of the columns due to the soil compression spring. So when you're in Floor Pro mode, the soil pressure option is completely removed from the program. You have to have the program opened in the map mode in order to see the soil pressure uh, based on the analysis that was done. This was shown in the preceding example. This will conclude this video tutorial on how to use Adapt Edge in unison with Adapt Map.